Hey everyone, this is Scrap Computer here. This video is going to be covering the first main attack speed item to get. The four items are Static Shiv, Rapid Fire Cannon, Phantom Dancer, and finally Runin's Hurricane. Each of four specific uses on certain champions, all of which I'll cover. Let's begin. Static Shiv, the passive and actives are shown below. Main uses four. Number one, wave clear. If your team have zero wave clear, this in my opinion is 100% buy. This item can give you great wave clear to actually push your advantage, so basically you're not waiting for everyone to auto attack the minions. Or of course, if you're losing, it can help push back mini waves from smashing against your or your enemy's turret. Again, if your team has no wave clear, this item is almost mandatory as it does fill a massive weakness in your team. Other than that though, if they have a bit of wave clear, you can also get it, or if you just want to siege very heavily in the game, it's a decent pickup, but wave clears are the major majority point on why you get this item. Number two, sieging. If sieging is your main priority in a game and basically rotating around objectives, pushing up mini waves is your main thing, the AoE hit from the basic static shave will help push down mini waves, which means you just siege quicker and quicker and quicker, and it also gets easier. Number three, split pushing. If you're split pushing a lot on an AD carry like uh, Quinn or Vian more notably, you may consider using this to help improve your wave clear, hence your split pushing. Although this isn't a massive point, it's just helpful. You wouldn't get it just to help split push, but it is pretty decently helpful if you want to do that. As you can see, this item's main use is for sieging and holding or pushing mini waves to help take objectives predominantly. It does do a little bit of AoE during fights. It's decent, but nothing really to boast about. Rapid fire. Cannon. The stats are shown below. The main use four. Number one, poke. This is the biggest point. It helps poking when sieging, it helps poking for lane dominance, helps poking down turrets, it helps basically poking down during fights when low. A simple point, but really good for getting nice free, essentially free damage to chip down your enemy. Pretty nice. It's good to also finish people off pretty decently. It's got a couple of extra tips here. Number two, single target burst. Although this item does decent single target damage with just its stats, the same can be said for the rest of the items. The main difference with this item is it's got great single target burst with its passive. The magical damage in this item's burst is higher than static shiv and obviously higher than the rest of the attack speed items which have zero burst at all. So for single target burst, this item is the best. If you wanna kill someone quickly out of, uh, out of the run, out of all of the items mentioned, rapid fire cannon is the top gun. I find this item just to be okay right now, its stats are a medium range and it's only real hard benefit is single target burst and a little bit of poke. I personally don't feel it's that great anymore, I think Static Shave it does its job, it got, it's got a little bit of its burst and it helps the wave clear, I don't know, just my opinion though. It's a decent item if you do want a single target burst though. Phantom Dancer. The stats are shown below. Main uses four. Number one, single target DPS. Phantom Dancer has the largest amount of single target DPS than any other item I will mention. The stats are just the highest in terms of providing damage. It's got an extra 15% attack speed and rapid fire cannon static shift and 5% more than Runan. So up front it has the greatest single target damage. Number two, dueling. Now the big point, it's passive is once again, out of all of these items, the best for dueling. You get 12% damage reduction on enemy last hit. This means that, once again, if you want to duel during fights or split push, uh, dueling with Vayne, Greaves, Twitch, uh, this item's amazing. And additionally, the 7% extra movement speed helps in regards of kiting out a bruiser like Darius, for example, or just kiting in general, outplaying someone during a duel. Number three, safety. This item out of all gives you the most safety. Due to damage reduction getting burst on, it's a little bit more difficult with Phantom Dancer unique in an enemy. So basically you apply this on a Zed, a Darius, they'll have a little bit of a harder time blowing you up with that 12% damage reduction. On top of that, the 7% free movement speed when someone's within 500 range gives you a little bit more mobility on top of the movement speed you already get for the item, which gives you a pretty decent amount of safety. Not great, but it's decent. So if you want to duel and deal the most amount of sustained damage with no original burst and gain a little bit of safety this items for you, this is a very nice all round item, it works with pretty much any champion, it's a really really nice item, it's pretty decent overall, and it's no absolute specialty, but it is pretty decent, it's a jack of all tapes essentially, you can duel if you want to in short little fights, you can basically split push if you want to, you do a lot of single target auto attack damage, it works just well for everything. Runan's Hurricane, the stats are shown below, main use is 4, number 1, Ability Augment. Important note, this ability applies on hit effects, as such it works for only certain AD carries. These AD carries are Ash, Caitlyn, Jinx, Callista, Kog'Maw, Twitch, Varus. Beyond these champions, you should not get Runan's. With Runan's, these champions apply on hit effects 
on their abilities, or Runan's ramps up, ramps up a stacker for an ability. Either way, it synergizes naturally with their kits. Number two, AoE teamfight damage. This item out of all is by far the most amount of AoE teamfight damage. If you plan to go on a teamfight and you want a lot of AoE damage down, this is the item. Of course, this goes hand in hand with my previous point. This is only true if, you're, if your kit is on hit effects. So as you previously seen with that little uh, picture and um, what I said, only these champions work with it because it helps apply on hit effects on an AoE basis during team fights. So basically you're applying it to tons of targets and just melting through HP and just in general doing a lot of crazy damage. The, uh, with an ability augment, this does massive amounts of AoE. So this basically makes you a godlike team fighter. This is the main team fight tool, not much else. Number three, wave clear. This item has a decent bit of wave clear, nowhere near as much as static shape, of course, but it, it, it's okay, it's not bad. So if you want AoE damage during fights and a little bit of wave clear, this item is amazing. It, does, it doesn't do as much single target damage as pretty much any of the other items, but with team fighting, no other item can even stand near toe to toe with this one. So in summary, Static Ship provides great wave clear, sieging potential. So if you've no one to wave clear in your team, get this. Rapid Fire Cannon provides poke and single target burst. Phantom Dancer gives you the highest single target DPS, powerful gilling and a little bit of safety. And Ruins Hurricane is an all-hit steroid, AoE team fighting tool and is used for any team fights. You want a team fight? Ruins Hurricane. You want a duel and split push and a little bit of safety? Phantom Dancer. You want to blow people up really quickly? Rapid Fire. You want wave clear and overall you want to siege quite well and your team's got no wave clear? Static Shiv. You'd be surprised it is really that simple guys in terms of what all of these things provide. Very simply put, you can just stack these all together and you understand what you want. Team fighting hurricane, dueling, safety, phantom, rapid fire for massive burst static shift for sieging or basically holding wave clear. Once again, really simple, very, very fundamental. And once you start listening to these things in your head, it, is, it becomes very logical as well. And that is it for the video, guys. If you like it, like it, dislike it, dislike it. If you like the content, you can subscribe. And if you think it's horrible and total trash and the quality is really low, you can unsub. I am totally fair. Beyond that, guys, have a great day, best luck in the rift, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.